looking pretty good. As we said, NASDAQ on pace to hit a record. Joining me right now, Kingsview Asset Management as well, CIO Scott Martin. Scott, how much of this is attributable to just the sort of secular shift, if you would, or cyclical shift, rather, in the economy? How much is attributable, attributable to the president? I think a lot of it, Trish. I mean, you guys were talking about the GDP numbers. You know, a lot of the pickup in GDP this quarter, past quarter, rather, in this report was businesses, right? Because the consumers got hit with the hurricanes, but businesses picked up the slack because, Trish, as I like to say, gone is the you didn't build that message that was just delivered to the business community over and over again by President Obama. Now it is, how can we help you, Mr. and Mrs. Businessman and Woman, from D.C.? So that's why businesses are going out there confident, spending, and hiring workers, which is going to drive the S&P prices higher because of the fact that businesses are back in this country. Hey, that's good stuff. I like the sound of that, Keith. Um, it's you can't underestimate Keith how much psychology and sentiment plays what kind of role it plays uh, when you're out there repealing regulations one after another when you're out there promising lower taxes for business owners for corporations and for individuals what does that do to overall confidence levels it brings into play the most important word in the investment vocabulary certainty because CEOs want and need certainty to spend and, mm -hmm. and gain customers. Customers need certainty because they know the companies that they're going to buy from are dependable and the markets need certainty because it means there's stability. So to me this is a win-win-win all the way across the board. It's important political okay. nonsense aside because the CEOs are the ones who have to navigate this on behalf of their shareholders. All right. So, so Scott, assuming the tax reform happens. We're looking at a market that's 23,434 on the Dow right now. Where do we go? Uh, easy Dow, 25,000, Trish. Wow. And it's probably relatively soon. You know, we'll get this probably knocked in maybe by the end of the year and maybe in 2018, which is okay because it's about going forward that the market really wants to see. And so I think you're easily going to see the Dow pop here as we go into the end of the year, especially given, as you guys have talked about, this really amazingly strong earnings report that we're just seeing today from, say, some of the Googles and the Amazons of the world. Plus, we got Facebook and Apple next week. So don't forget, <laughs> yeah. we've got another lift coming, I think, in a matter of days, too. Is that what you're hearing, Nicole? Washington. I mean, what you're seeing out of Washington, you still see the ball rolling. I know we've been talking a lot about tax reform budgets, and that really is still well on its way. Everybody bet on that. And you couple that with the great earnings this season that we've seen and fundamentals. Things have improved. I know it feels crazy in the run-up that we've seen. All-time highs, one record after another. And sure, everybody's always cautious and watching. But the feeling is still optimistic, big picture, for the longer term. And what a day today with these tech earnings blowout numbers. Indeed. Well, thank you so much. Good to see you all. Uh, Keith, Scott, and Nicole. The, the DOJ lifting a gag.